Let's talk about sugar. The word alone and these pictures stir cravings. A silky chocolate dessert, an ice cold fizzy drink, a smooth scoop of coconut ice cream. If I'm honest, I can't even have a cup of coffee without it. Sugar fuels us, right? Even comforts us at times. But it's also got a dark reputation. It's blamed for obesity, diabetes, even addiction. So what is sugar really? And why does it have such a grip on us? At its core, sugar is simple. A carbohydrate built from glucose, fructose, or galactose. It's the body's most basic fuel. Every heartbeat, every step, every thought runs on sugar. Without sugar, our bodies would simply stall. When it comes naturally inside fruit or grains and wrapped with fiber and nutrients, sugar fuels us steadily. Bite into a banana, for example, and you feel it. That quick lift in energy, and sharper focus. It even brightens our mood. That's sugar at work. But refine it, pour it into sodas and sweets, well, that's when the trouble begins. Too much of that kind of sugar can lead to obesity, diabetes, and even heart disease. The conversations around sugar can get confusing. Some say all sugar is poison. Others swear certain fruits are bad for you. But many scientists agree that when sugar comes with the good stuff, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, the body can handle it. It's the industrial added sugars flooding our diets that can make us, well, unwell. So sugar is both friend and foe, both comfort and temptation. The real question isn't if we eat it, but how much we eat and where it comes from. And that brings us to a new study that suggests that global warming is making us consume more sugar and it's hitting disadvantaged groups the hardest.